I'm Saul Goodman. Did you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do. I believe that until proven guilty, every man, woman, and child is innocent in this country. And that's why I fight for you, Albuquerque. Better Call Saul. So I just finished Better Call Saul and it, it was great, but I only think it's great now that I'm done with it. And let me explain. I'm someone with a really short attention span, and I was pretty vocal about how the show was not very engaging for me. In fact, I found myself really bored a lot of the time. But once I got to the end of the series, it made it so all of that boredom was just part of the art. Now that I have seen it all, I can confidently say that I wouldn't have changed anything. It's like all of these random things that happen that start introducing characters. You might think this is a waste of time, but it all wrapped itself up really nicely in the series. It's a great character drama, and for a long time I was like, I don't really care about his relationship with Kim Wexler. I don't really like her side stories with her Mesa Verde and all her clients and whatnot. It's just not engaging for me. But her fighting with Jimmy or Saul or Jean all the time, like, it had to be repetitive. It had to show us that Jimmy will repeatedly promise that he'll make whatever change he needs to stay with her until she makes the decision to step out of the situation herself. And in that final episode, we're, we're shown that he negotiated his own way down to seven years for a whole bunch of horrible crimes and I think that he learned that he is not going to change and we needed three seasons of him screwing with his brother and we needed three seasons of him screwing with Howard to some degree the show made me not like Saul Goodman which was crazy because he was my favorite in Breaking Bad I like that I don't like him because it shows that he's not just kind of comedic relief anymore he's a person with a lot of issues and he copes with those issues by being Slipping Jimmy. One thing that I also thought was really slowing the show down for me was watching the entire evolution of the, like, Gus versus the Salamancas situation. Them building the lab was so horribly boring for me. Like, I could not, I was struggling to make it through, like, the third, fourth season. But once Lalo was introduced and in season five, or season six, once he's really going at it, with Gus. It felt so fitting. Hearing Jimmy finally use his real name again at the very end just felt so satisfying. Him taking responsibility for everything he's done. He's no longer explaining his way out of what he's done. He's no longer promising that he's gonna quit doing it. It was really cool seeing more of Huel and how they kind of came to be. We get a lot more Mike than I think we got in Breaking Bad. Nacho Varga was a great character. Um, at first, I didn't care about him. Once he took away Hector's medication, he, he dug his grave the moment he did that. But what made him so intriguing, and en or what made him so engaging was his relationship with his father. That phone call he has with him is just so sad because he doesn't want to tell him what's about to happen. So having our final scene with Mike be him confronting Nacho's father, Nacho's father saying like, you're all the same, you're all gangsters, you know, it's, he has a point. All the scenes where he's Gene, you know, I spent every first episode of every season trying to piece together like, what does this mean? Why are we seeing this? Once we got like full length episodes of that, we were shown that he is still slipping Jimmy. He's he's setting up these schemes to to rob the stores and he got away with it like he always does. And then they're back to what he did when he was young, which is, you know, robbing people basically. And we really show how much of a low point he's at cuz they're robbing a dying man and he justifies it after one of the accomplices says I can't do that. It's just weird to see how far he had fallen and then see him rise up in the final episode and just tie everything together. I don't see the argument that Breaking Bad isn't as good as Better Call Saul. I still think Breaking Bad was a better drama, a better story, but I really appreciate what Better Call Saul does. It made me suffer in the same way that the game Death Stranding makes you suffer. It's long. It's, it's a lot of just pushing through the boring stuff. But if you skipped to the end, 
you wouldn't feel the same as if you as if you went through the whole journey. And just because I said the show is boring doesn't mean that there are really high moments. There's a lot of suspenseful moments. It's just they're usually in the first and last episodes of a season. So there's like seven or eight episodes of just you know the same like the it's just flowing. Jimmy pulling off some weird elaborate stuff, which is it's just not very entertaining to me. And you might view it differently, but I was not engaged. I'm glad that all of those things happened now that I have made it from beginning to end. And the ending, let's talk about the ending. Him being looked at as a legend in prison is awesome. And then Kim seeing him in jail and having that one last cigarette with him, it's like mimicking the very first episode. One thing that Vince Gilligan does super well is he, t he ties everything up neatly in a bow at the end. Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, no notable loose ends. And I love that because most TV shows don't stick the landing as well. I have to say I'm kind of glad it's over. As much as I can appreciate the creativity of the show, I really need to watch something else. I'm kind of ruined by TikTok and YouTube to where I can't sit and watch things for very long. Getting through hour-long episodes 10 per season, 13 in the last season, it was brutal. Like, there were weeks where I just couldn't pick up the show again. But I'm glad I followed through. I am, it's, it was a very, very satisfying ending. Now, the only thing I haven't seen in the Breaking Bad verse is El Camino, which I'll maybe watch. I think I need a, a break from Breaking Bad. Also, Aaron Paul is so much older looking now, and I, I'm glad they didn't recast or anything, but like, it is weird seeing him in his mid 40s playing himself in his i assume early 30s but yeah if you made it this far into the video thank you for watching comment what you thought about the series if you disagree with me let me know i'd like to have a conversation about the show if you'd like you can go to yonaha.net um, I design all the clothing on that store. Um, it's inspired by my grandma. If you sign up with your email, you'll get 30% off your first order and I'll email you coupons down the road. And you can join our Discord server. We talk about film, we like art, we like games, anime, whatever. Just a good place to hang out. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching.